We'll do everything we can to raise the resources to make sure that we pay for funerals for any needs that they may have. But we owe those parents action. I, I've talked to the parents in, in El Paso. I've talked to the parents in Santa Fe High School. I, I've talked to the parents in Midland, Odessa. They, they want us to do something right now. I want us to do something right now. We can do something right now. But if we continue to accept this, then it is on us. It's not just the governor's fault. It, it is on us. I'm not going to accept it. So I'm here. I'm calling attention to this, and I'm asking all Texans of good conscience, and I could care less whether you're a Republican, a Democrat, or an Independent, to stand up right now for yourself, for your kids, for our families, and to stop the next shooting just like this one. And what do you say to Texas Governor Greg Abbott, who says now is not the time? He's going to have a driver's license, can't buy a He should not have been able to buy an AR-15. Right there. Do you want a solution? Stop selling AR-15s in the state of Texas. Do you want a solution? have universal background checks. We don't have them. You want a solution? Red flag laws or extreme risk protection orders, which stop a shooting before it happens. You want a solution? Safe storage laws. Those are four solutions that have been brought up by the people of Texas. Each one of those has broad bipartisan support right now. We could get that done if we had a governor who cared more about the people of Texas than he does his own political career or his fealty to the NRA. And if you need any proof of that, check the schedule for the NRA's convention this Friday right here in the state of Texas. Five of the worst mass shootings in U.S. history right in this state on his watch. What does he do about it? He goes to the NRA convention to brag about how easy he has made it to purchase guns in this state and to carry them publicly without a background check, without any training or vetting whatsoever. It is absolutely wrong. In fact, it is insane. The governor talks about mental health. It is insane that we allow an 18-year-old to go in and buy an AR-15. What the hell did we think he was going to do with that? This one is on us. And what do you say to Texas Governor Greg Abbott who says now is not the time to make this political? Now is the time to stop the next shooting. Um, right after Santa Fe High School was the time to stop the next shooting. Right after El Paso was the time to stop the next shooting. Right after Midland Odessa was the time to, to stop the next shooting. And in each case, we say this isn't the time. Now is the time, like literally right now. That's why I'm here. Um, that's what we want as a state. Uh, that, that, that's what I want as a parent. I've got three kids who are in high school and middle school and elementary school. That's what they want. And, and I face their judgment and my conscience and ultimately my maker for what I do when I have the chance to, to change this. And I'm going to do everything in my power to change this. And I am not alone. The majority of Texas is with us on this right now. The majority of Texas is not reflected by that governor or those people around the table who talk about mental health care or say that this is pure evil or that it was absolutely unpredictable. This is predictable. It will happen and it will continue to happen until we change course. We've got to change what course. What changed this time after all the other times you failed to make change? What has, what has changed this time that makes you so certain? You know, there are some, and I, I saw the line, I don't know who said it. They said, listen, um, the debate on, on, on responsible gun laws ended the day after Sandy Hook, the day after the Congress was unable to pass meaningful gun reform. I, I don't buy that. I, I think anything that is tough to do in this country is going to require sometimes years, sometimes decades, sometimes millions of us coming together. But we have the will. We're, we, we are going to do this. I'm absolutely confident of it. Everyone is going to do all that they can with what they have, where they are. Right now, it is us here in Uvalde doing this right now. There are others across the state of Texas who are with us. I'm confident that we're going to overcome. I, I don't know when and I don't know how, but I do know that we've got to do everything that we can with what we have. We have got to try.